Hi, and welcome back to the mini farm. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make Panera's baked potato soup. This is so easy, I almost feel bad calling it a recipe because it has very little ingredients and very little touch time. And it's a hit every single time we make it. Everybody always goes back for seconds. This is part of our Meatless Monday series. If you follow us on Facebook and Instagram, you see that every Monday I make a meatless recipe. It's for health reasons and budget reasons, and it's always nice to mix things up. So if you're ready for another copycat soup recipe that is super easy, then just keep watching. But first, give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this, and click the red subscribe button below if you haven't done so already. If it's already gray, thank you so much for being a subscriber. I love having you here and really enjoy our chats in the comment section. Without further ado, here's our yummy and super easy Panera Bread copycat recipe of the baked potato soup. For this recipe, you're going to need chicken broth, potatoes, white pepper, some cayenne pepper or crushed red pepper, salt, and a brick of cream cheese. I'll also show you several options at the end of what to top it off with. To get started, we're going to peel the potatoes. All you need is about four cups of the potatoes. You can save those skins and fry them up. They're actually really yummy. You can even add them as a topping if you want after. Went ahead and gave these a quick rinse. Shooting for about four cups of these, which is about five medium-sized potatoes or so. Dice it into about half-inch cubes. So that's about four cups right there. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat on. Go ahead and put all of the potatoes in the pots. Let's turn it on high. And so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it up to a boil with the stuff. And all we need is your quarter teaspoon pepper and then a quarter teaspoon of either the red pepper, crushed red pepper or cayenne. And then a half a teaspoon of the salt. Now it's salt to taste, so you're gonna wanna taste it just before you add the cream cheese and kinda see what it's like for you. But is a good place to start. Okay, starting to simmer, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover it. As soon as it comes up to a boil, I'm gonna turn it down to low and let it simmer until the potatoes are tender. That did not take long, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down to low. Ha! 
All right. This has been simmering away and the potatoes are very tender. So now what we can do is just smash it a little bit and it'll release the starches into the liquid and thicken up the soup by itself. I did bring up the heat just a little bit to really kind of solidify the potatoes just a little bit. When that comes back down, I just turn it back down to a low. I wanna get rid of all of the simmer completely before I add in any dairy. That's how it is with any kind of soup that has dairy in it. If you add in the dairy while it's simmering like this, it will grain up on you. So you don't want it to be grainy. Let it completely die down before we add in our cream cheese. It is now at a very low simmer. I'm gonna drop in chunks of the cream cheese. Okay, then stir that in very lightly until the cheese completely melts in there. So just kind of let the cheese melt in there a little bit. If you have big chunks, you can press them up against the side and kind of stir them in. Give it a few minutes and it'll completely melt in there and completely get creamy. Okay, so I took a whisk to it and kind of creamed it up a little bit. It's still on low heat, so you don't want it to curdle on you, but that really helped kind of mix in the rest of it. Ladle it in, try not to make as much of a mess as I am. <laughs> Top it off with some cheddar. I would say this is an optional topping, but it really isn't. This is a triple cheddar blend that I use, but I really like the sharp cheddar and the mild cheddar in here. You can top it off with a few chives or some green onion, the ends of a green onion. And that is dinner. Mm -mm -mm. You can add, also add some sour cream on top or some bacon if you want some meat on it. But seriously, the cheese and the chives are almost mandatory. Let me know if you give this recipe a try. And if you haven't done so already, you can click on my face and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.